Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, I have some fun things on my desk that I wanted to share with you. Um, so this is as part of a partnership I'm doing with Craftspire. Um, so I'd like to do a little bit of an unboxing and um, I will link all of these products down below. And there is a discount code should you want to use it. All of that is in the description box uh, down below. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you what I ordered from them, what um, they sent me. Um, and yeah, I sort of was going to sort of give you a little bit of a sneak peek, I guess, as to what I'm planning on doing with these bits. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for, thanks for joining me. <laughs> um, typically I've chosen the most blunt pair of scissors possible to get into these bits, so let me try again. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, I'm very well. Sorry, that was wrapped up a little bit tighter than I expected. Uh, so yeah, as I say, Crossfire have kindly sent me these items for me to, you know, oops, try out and uh, see how I get on. So the first thing, sorry about the shiny, but the first thing is some marble plates, and this is for doing wax seals. Um, so the idea is um, to do it on the cold marble, um, and then that's supposed to help you when you're making up wax seals in advance. You can do them on here, um, and it's the, like the cold marble is supposed to sort of like um, make them set quicker. I think that's how it's supposed to be. So we've got a set of three. I didn't realise there were three. I thought I was only getting one, so that's really cool. Um, so we've got different colours. Um, so I guess if you're making a bunch of wax seals in one go, you would sort of have have a bunch of these set out so you could do... You know, you could have a bunch on there and then a bunch on there, but I'm not sure I need three. So you may see these in a future giveaway. <laughs> Little sneak peek there. Um, you know, I'll, I'll keep a couple and put one aside or something. We shall see. Um, okay, let's see what we've got in here. So I've got a couple of stamps. Again, I only need one, so stay tuned. Um, let me have a little look see. So I thought this would be fun. It's a date stamp. Um, I've never used one, so I don't know. Is it supposed to go that way? So we've got year, month, and days. I always like looking at the year, the year stamps because I'm thinking, wow, what, what do we go up to? 2031, I think that is. <laughs> getting into the future now so yeah as I say I've got a couple of those which um again I thought I was only getting one so that's um that's cool so I won't put that back in but you get the idea so that's another thing and I got a couple of wax seal stamp heads um because I've done a partnership with Crust Buyer before um, where I was able to get some some goodies for wax seal stuff. So I got these two. I've got a fern. Hopefully you can see that if I... Is that better? So we've got a fern and a Christmas tree. Uh, I thought this would be nice for Christmas, um, stamping letters from Santa or something. And of course the fern is just general, like, botanical use. So that's pretty. I just love the gold. I love the shiny. <laughs> I was a magpie in a future life, can't you tell? Okay, what's next? Um, I've got a whole stack here of envelopes. Now, I've been fortunate enough to have been sent envelopes like this in Happy Mails, um, smaller versions. So I think these would be the equivalent of a DL letter size. Um, if I, just in case it's of interest, if I find my ruler... Uh, I'll do it in inches. So these are just under five inches. Closed up would be just under eight inches. So yeah, call it five by eight. That's close enough. A whole stack of those. And these are really lovely because I don't know if you can see. They've got like a, a cursive scripty kind of text on them. And I thought these would be, be just lovely in, you know, file folders and botanical projects. But again, more than I need <laughs> so that's great so yeah I'll um I'll happily sort of take a few of these and maybe put some in the Etsy shop or something we'll, 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 we will see 
can't get my words out this morning it's my first uh, talking of the day so you'll have to excuse me if i'm a bit uh, tongue-tied okay and then last but not least these all came together um there we go it's essentially a letter writing set um so we have got a stack of envelopes which i'll see if i can i think you get several of each so i'll show you the different patterns so we've got sort of like brown floral design nice on the back as well um which way does this go i think that one goes that way so we've got like regency buildings in the top and some flowers there we are these feel really nice paper um, oh, you've just seen that one. I'll show you a different one. This one, I thought this would be nice for secret garden. So some of these would be sort of like woodland type colours for me. And this one may be secret garden. With the nice green on there. I've got some Latin text on the back. So I thought these would be nice for flips and things. Well, pockets and, and flips, really. This one I thought might go with my Christmassy type projects because of the, the red maybe and then butterfly on the back really nice sort of crackle detail um, I can't remember how many types you get so I'll keep going this one really nice sort of vintage design with that flower and um, I don't know what pattern to call this does anyone know what that's called um, it's almost like a, a wallpaper design I suppose flower on the back so those are nice and I've got this one, um, so this is sort of a pink and blue, again maybe for secret garden, possibly also for my pastel winter projects, we'll see. I think there's another type. I've got this one, I'm not sure what I would use these for, you know, maybe secret garden. I really like this pattern, I would maybe cover up the flowers but that's just me. Um, really nice pink, almost like an ombre effect on the back. And I think there's another type. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. I think there was another. Oh, there we are. And this one as well. Really nice grid effect with the, the flowers. And I thought I could use these potentially in my winter botanical projects because of the red berries and the green. Still pink. Still me. So what's that? Yeah, so those, those. I folded that one because I started planning a project, which I'll um, talk to you about in a second. So those are those. So yeah, I think you've got sort of three or four, maybe more, of each design. So what's that? Seven designs? Seven designs. Nice. I didn't realise there was quite as many as that. Um, so yeah, what I'm thinking about doing with these is um, doing a stacked envelope project, um, which will be part of an altered file folder. Um, and the first file folders I'm doing in the next few months are um, winter ones. So you will see those in that project. So alongside the envelopes, we've also got some stickers, I guess, for, you know, sealing your envelopes. Um, these are kind of cool. They're like baking themed, so I might put this with my kitchen stuff. Um, for those of you who have followed me for a while, you know that I was working on some uh, baking journals earlier this year. Was that in January? Gosh, time flies. Um, and then, of course, with the envelopes, you also get the writing paper, um, which I may need to cover up, you know, this sort of text. But um, this is really fun, where it's got um, the start of a letter from 1858. Blank on the back. So, of course, what I was thinking was, you know, they could be really nice journal pages. You could fold them up to put in um, pockets in journals. And again, you've got corresponding patterns. I think it's three sheets of each for each envelope. So you know you've got the, the same sort of pattern. So I'll just show you them all and then I'll be the last thing. Pretty. And they're, yeah, they're blank on the back so you can do whatever you like on the back with them. You could, um, you know, paint them up, dye them, leave them as, as you know, it's like, um, it is white but it's sort of a an off-white kind of colour so it's not stark, which is good, which I like that one so yeah the these type without the text on and whatnot 
if I were to fold them up as a journal page, you know, you can just have those botanicals all the way around. Nothing's upside down or anything, from what I can tell anyway. And we've got this pattern, nice vintage rose. And we've got this one, which again, I might need to cover up the text a little bit, but that's okay. Happy to use those. As I say, as you can expect from you know a shop like Crosswire, the the um, the value. Uh, obviously, they sent me them in order for me to do these videos. But um, the value of the products, I was looking at how much they were, and they were you know they were good value. So that's those. So as I say, um, I want to do a stacked envelope project as part of my uh, winter file folders. So expect that in the coming weeks. Um, and then with the wax seal stuff, so if I get all the bits out so you can see again what I what I received. Um, so I want to try the marble plates with you all, see how we get on. Um, and what I'm thinking is of doing some kind of happy mail where, and I need to figure it out, I haven't made the prototype so this is really, really a sneak peek. Um, but basically I want to make some kind of vellum pocket or envelope thing um, and then to have some twine around it and to have the wax seal on top of the twine something like that so I need to figure it all out um, and come back and show you the videos um, but once I do um, yeah you can expect a stacked envelope project and the happy mail with the wax seal project um, well in the coming weeks if they go to plan <laughs> fingers crossed um, so yeah stay tuned for that and um, you'll see these products again soon so thank you again to Crossfire for partnering with me and sending me these goodies. And thank you to all of you who are watching right now. It really, really does help support my channel. Um, as I say, I am planning on doing giveaways because, yeah, I don't, I don't need two of them. And I certainly don't need three marble plates. I don't have the room to store this um, as much of this sort of stuff. So, you know, I'm going to look into some kind of giveaway that we can do, perhaps. Um... You know, just because at the end of the day, you're supporting me and I, I want to be able to, you know, pay it back when I can. So, um, stay tuned. <laughs> we shall see what happens with the giveaway. But um, it is in my, it is in the back of my mind to do one soon because um, I do want to say thank you again. Um, and yeah, that's everything. So, thanks so much for joining me. Very short, quick and sweet today. But um, I just wanted to show you those and um, to give you a heads up as to what I'm going to do with some of these bits and bobs. And of course, you know, all of this stuff will get used in the coming months. You know, we've got Christmas and winter and botanical stuff, which is very much at the back of my mind right now as to Christmas projects are looming, winter projects are looming, which seems bonkers because it's blue skies and sh sunshine out right there right now. It's um, middle of October, but um, yeah, Christmas and winter are on their way, apparently. So, um, so yeah, we'll, um, we'll look forward to using these bits and bobs together. And that's it. Thank you so much and we'll speak soon. Remember there is a discount code and the product links down below if you do want to have a little little peek at uh, the shop. Um, and yeah, I will leave the, the website link for Crossfire down below as well. So thank you again and we'll speak soon. Bye bye for now.